Guy digs a hole in his backyard and makes his neighbors insanely jealous. Everyone has wild ideas for their home and projects they wish they could do, but not everyone actually follows through. When it comes to large-scale projects in your backyard, it takes a lot of time and effort to execute something well. When Wayne Martin started digging a massive hole in his backyard, his neighbors thought he was nuts. Little did they know that what he actually had planned was one of the most ambitious backyard construction projects we've ever seen. And when he was done, all of their confusion was quickly replaced by burning envy. Prepare to feel the same way when you see what he did. To start, Wayne purchased a 20-foot shipping container that he found on the internet. Containers like this are often discarded and available to be bought at low prices. He sealed the double doors at the end and installed a swinging door on the other side. This will be key to remember as the project progresses. Wayne was careful to dig a hole that was at least two feet deeper than the height of a container, and poured a six-inch layer of peat gravel at the bottom. He hired a septic tank company to lift and place the container in the hole. Can you guess what he's up to yet? He left roughly two feet of space on each side of the container, and a few feet in front of the swinging door. He also created a hole for the sump pump that would go in. This will be critical. Next, Wayne put in a set of concrete steps, making sure the top stair was at the same level as the top of the container. That way, you could walk down to the door at the bottom of the stairs. He installed two I-beams, keeping them level with the stairs and the container top. This is for support, and as a frame for what comes next. More framework was installed to support the roof. Is it starting to make sense what he's up to? Across the framework, he laid down sheets of heavy corrugated metal. They're stable enough to support someone's weight, even when they're holding a fluffy friend. He left an opening over the stairs and surrounded it with rebar for support. Then cinder blocks were laid and filled in with even more concrete. Two 12-inch air vents were put in at the front and back, along with some PVC piping for utilities. Wouldn't want to go without those. It was finally time to start pouring in concrete all over the area. The rebar was in place and the frame was perfectly aligned. A 6-inch layer was added over the corrugated metal roofing and rebar. More blocks were added to the entrance. The temporary supports were taken out once the concrete dried. Wayne used high end soil to fill the space surrounding the entrance so that things could be planted there. And now, his bunker is ready to be filled. What better to fill it up with than with wine? This is what it looks like from the back looking out. Now he can use the space as a shelter or just as a storage unit. Pretty brilliant, huh? It's important to note some safety concerns with this sort of project. The roof and walls of a shipping container aren't designed to hold the weight, so anyone building one of these cellars should take care to add support structures like the beams and concrete this man used. Watch the entire process step by step. And be sure to check out the next page for more incredible ideas for your own bunker. Some of these underground bunkers look like they could actually be pretty cozy. This one doesn't look like it would be a bad place to kick back after a long day scoping out the post-apocalyptic wasteland. It doesn't need to be the apocalypse to have a great bunker, of course, but it's quite difficult for many people to let go of the association between underground bunkers and bomb shelters. With bunk beds. This space is enough room for an entire family. Who would have thought that so many people could be accommodated in an underground space? It's truly an engineering marvel. Whether you're trying to survive through the end of the world, or simply want a safe, pleasant, and perhaps even secret space to spend some time, then you can't go wrong with these bunkers. Out of all the backyard projects we've seen, this one really takes the cake. Imagine having something this awesome in your backyard.